Um, guys, we've got an auto loading log trailer on consoles now. Hey, -oh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we got 13 mods for you for all platforms. We have six new and four updates. And for PC and Mac, we have one new and two updates. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have a new map. We have the Great Lands of Europe. This is a fictional map inspired by the plains and landscapes of Europe. This is from AG Modding. You've got a very, very large setup here. So you're gonna be able to use some large vehicles. One thing I have found, however, is the roads seem to be a bit small. So transporting those vehicles from point A to point B may seem a little bit interesting. Also, this area right here giving me some serious Forza Horizon 4 vibes, and I love it. On here, you've got one breeding cow farm. You've got one point of sale. You sleep function, of course, fast forward time at your house and resetting vehicles is at the main farm. If we bump over, we can see exactly where that's going to be. Let's go and jump out of here. Hoo -hoo, we are going fast. This is your farm. There's really not a whole lot going on with it, but it allows you to expand and build your farm out kind of however you like. So let's take a look at the PDA. Here it is, and you've got lots of different options to choose from different fields. And you can see this is where you own. And of course, you own around the outside of the map. Thank you, thank you, thank you for including that. You could sell that if you want for $7.8 million, but a little bit cheaty. So maybe don't worry about that. You get field number one up here, field number seven, 22, and 29. Of course, you have the outside of the map as well, which is going to give you everything that you need. Of course, you got animals all around. We've got our cow pasture here. We also have another cow pasture right there as well. So you've got those looking around. Do we have any more animals? It doesn't look like it, but you've got, of course, your buy and sell points over there. Global sell points over here. It did say one sell point on the description, but it looks like we've got more than just one sell point, which is great, great news. As far as prices, looks like 750,000, 1.3 million. About a million bucks there, 800,000. And then if you buy the field behind you, 412. As far as the fields that you own, the bottom one, 29, is going to be 110,000. 22 is going to give you 267. Field number one, the most of all of them, $469. Nice. And then number seven, 105. Very cool. It's a very interesting map. I really, really like really like that map that's cool what do you get as far as vehicles go well we get some decent equipment we do get a puma 185 so that's going to give you 225 horsepower plenty to start a new farm you do get a new holland tx32 a little small but it is what it is tipper header cultivator a direct drill so you don't really need that cultivator you get rid of that right away you have a cow pasture and a medium bunker silo so you can make some silage for your little baby cow well they're not baby, regular cows, regular cows. And since we're doing stuff for consoles now, let's jump over to the Xbox real quick and take a look. So only 358 slots out of the total 1,299 are used up. However, when we go through and sell everything, that's gonna go down quite a bit, down to 274. So only 274 slots out of the total 1,299. So you've got, what was that, over a thousand slots there. You're good to go. Plus, just a heads up, whenever you sell everything, you're going to have $474,000 in New Farmer. Next up, we've got something absolutely insane. The Wood Chipper trailer from Kirato Farms. This pack contains wood chipper and a custom wood chip sell point. DJ, this is a logging trailer. This is not a wood chip trailer. What's going on, man? Well, <laughs> drive up to a pile of logs, fold out the chipper, which is down here on the bottom in yellow, and this is going to crush the logs like a normal wood chipper would, and it will make logs appear onto the back of the trailer. So it's kind of like an auto load wood trailer, but it's not. It's kind of like an auto load build trailer. Uh, if that makes any sense, the price of their custom sell point has been adapted so that the money you get from the chips equals the money that you would have gotten for transporting logs to the sawmill directly. Very, very cool. We've got 175,000 liter capacity, so we got that. And then you could do standard or wide tires. Uh, this thing is not real happy, and I bet if you do this enough, it would just simply get up and walk away. Uh, we got our TLX Phoenix right here. We've got our wood chipper on the back, and... 
We got some logs. So let's jump in here and see how this works. It says it'll hold 175,000 liters. So let's see if that's true. Let's boom this out. Kaboom, kaboom. There we go. And, oh, all right, oh, sure. Boop, just like so. All right, uh, now looks like we maybe open the cover. I'm not seeing what that's doing, but all right. And then uh, let's go and turn it on. We'll pull forward and uh, we should start to go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> got some custom logs on there, which is all right with me. This is immediately turning this into wood chips. <laughs> Yo, it's like an auto load build trailer or auto load log trailer for all platforms. Are you serious right now? Hang on. I want to see. We got to be able to do more than this, right? So let's add like a bunch more eight meter log or logs right there. Did that just make them go boop? A boop indeed. A boop indeed. Auto load log trailer confirmed. Okie dokie. All right. So we got our logs there. Let's go ahead and turn that off and let's fold up the chipper. And then we'll go over here to our cell point. I assume it's just gonna have us do a standard unload. This is the cell point right here. By the way, the trailer is gonna be eight slots and I think the cell point's like one or something like that. Oh, this is automatic. So it's gotta be on the back. So make sure the back of the trailer and this is doing it automatically as well. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and it automatically sells as well. So you no know, work. I'm I'm a bit of at a loss right now. I'm I'm kind of at a loss. Auto load logging trailer. Who would have thought? Next up, we have 82 Studios six ton fertilizer spreader. Oh yeah, new fertilizer spreader. However, it's not just that. We also have the six ton salt spreader and something new that we've never seen before: a snow melter. We're going to talk about each one of these. Let's just start with what is on the outside, the basic stuff that we get to see. Starting off, this holds 6,000 liters of fertilizer and lime, so that is good. 15 miles per hour, max speed, and it's going to be taking up 11 slots if you guys are on consoles. All three of these take up 11 slots, by the way, so keep that in mind. It doesn't say on here, and A2 Studio is working on this. However, if you guys are curious what it's gonna hold, as far as this version, it's going to do, or say hold, uh, it's gonna have a 24 meter spread of fertilizer and a 12 meter spread of lime. And then the larger versions, bigger than that, we'll talk about that. Rim color, everything that you guys are used to and you are expecting to see, you've got it. Main color, well, everything you expect to see, plus, some new colors, SAM or SAM. So let's go with that. And then design color. Well, we have some SAM colors on here as well. Let's go with that there. Rim color, can we add a SAM on there as well? Yeah, ba boom baby, let's go. Configuration, we have standard. We have extension, that's gonna take you from 6,000 up to 9,000 liters. And this is also gonna give you a bit of a push as well. This is gonna bump your fertilizer up to 30 meters and your lime up to 18 meters. But if 9,000 liters isn't enough, well, simply pop on the unrealistic extension. This is gonna bump those numbers up to 25,000. Working with stays the same, but 25,000 liters, not too bad. Wheel brands, we have 82's machinery. We also have Trelleborg. Michelin tires, not kid tires. In 82s, you just get the standard wheel. Michelin tires, standard wheel there as well. But we also have the Agri Terra. Yeah, so back and forth between those. And then knock ins, we have a couple different ones through there as well. Like A2's machinery, we'll stick with that. Design, we have aluminum, steel, galvanized, white paint, black paint, black plastic, and back to aluminum. So that's gonna change up the rear right there. Like the white paint, stands out, looking good. And then spreader system, standard and unrealistic. So this uh, this right here is actually what's going to boost that from 12 meters up to 30 meters. So make sure you go for that. Again, this is not gonna say in game anywhere and I've hit up A2 Studio, he's aware that it doesn't show the working with and he's going to be fixing that. Now moving over to the salt spreader. This one is quite literally going to be exactly the same. You've got all the same customization, same wheels and everything, but it does salt, very cool there. Then we have the snow 
Melter. Now, this one is going to be the same. You don't have to do anything extra with this, but you can see at the very bottom, it says snow melting spreaders injects an additive to the salt that melts the snow in the ice. So put your salt in here, and this is actually going to melt the snow, not just the bottom layer. This is going to melt the snow. Yeah, that's pretty darn cool. I love it. These are really neat fertilizer spreaders. They also use less than you would expect. So they've got a uh, an additive in there. I say an additive, it's got a just line of code where it uses less fertilizer and less salt and less uh, lime, everything than you would normally use. So definitely check these out. But if that's not your thing, we got something for you here as well. The MP Agro Taurus 12,000. This is another fertilizer spreader today from Connect modding groups of Miata modding and MP Agro. MP Agro is actually the company that makes this in real life. I think we've got at least one more piece of equipment from them, but we've got this here. 12,000 liters of solid fertilizer, lime and solid manure, 36 meter spread at 11 miles per hour. No other customization. I hope you like the way it looks. We do have a tarp design, but that is it on here. As far as slots is gonna take up 14 slots if you guys are on console, so heads up there highly highly detailed they've done a really really good job with this and we've been teasing this on farm some news for the past few days as well they've been doing the countdown and hey the countdown is over our next mod on the list for all platforms has the worst name of any mod i've ever seen because <laughs> it sounds like poo it is lizard tour plow t-u-r this is 110 horsepower required 2.1 meters 7 miles per hour max speed and it is going to take up a total of nine slots. A little heavy for what it is. Main color right here, we could change that up. However, it seems like if you're using a controller, don't go down to design because you can't go back. So heads up there, main color. You've got, well, all of them, don't you? Yes, you do. Rim color, a base game gray. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh yeah. Well, maybe not so much. Also that wheel is 100% not centered nor is it change of colors the wheels broke and uh design color yeah change that up hey at least you got some good customization on here you can also pop that out as well so you could do with a standard or you can go out uh, even higher to 2.5 uh man that wheel is really irritating me Anyway, there you go. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Shedwood Old, aka Old Wood Shed. $23,000, nine slots, and it is Nuis from Slusha's modding. 23 grand, and it's going to be 10 bucks per day. Now, you can see we've got a raised area right here, and they have said before, we showed this off farm some news actually, that if you want to get this right, all you got to do is raise the ground. So what I'm going to do is turn off the extended placeable place anywhere thing so let's see how easy this is shall we oh i don't own the land yeah we should we should definitely fix that there we go all right so this is letting us get right up to it terrain cannot be modified so we can modify the terrain here but it won't let us get close to it this is a big problem with mods like this for consoles is you cannot modify the terrain anywhere close to a placeable like this so heads up to any modders watching this or anything like that uh things like this are cool yes uh however i think they should just be released on pc because i'm on pc now and i've turned off place anywhere and you can't do anything with it just to show you guys if we back out of here and we turn on the place anywhere boom just like so now I could do whatever I want. So you need the place anywhere mod for this to even be feasible, possible, anything in order to get up through there. And this is what it's designed for. It's designed to be a double shed to be able to put things at the top and the bottom. So heads up, uh, if you're on console, I think you're kind of slam out of luck when it comes to being able to utilize this. We do have a couple updates for you guys for all platforms. However, two of them are kind of like a cool story, bro. Uh, the first of the cool story, bro, is the Sammy Silver and Lamborghini R5, aka the Sammy Silver E Lamborghini R5 pack from Black Eyes Official Modding. Uh, this is version 1.0. I think somebody uploaded the wrong version because there's no change log. I would love to tell you what's up with this. 
But uh, yeah, cool story, bro. There's there's no change log. The other cool story, bro, is this bad boy right here, the Lizard GNU. Um, this was updated, however, it was still showing version one, and since then has been removed from the mod hub. Yikes! I don't know what's going on, but uh. Cool story, bro. Don't worry, we do have an update that's actually an update. This one's gonna be the Cavernland Accord DL Pack. You can see we have four models now instead of just one because this is update 1.1. Added three new Cedar models, also added configuration of extensions, increasing the capacity of the tank. Color configuration has been added. Wheel configurations added. Wheel colors been added. Mechanism cover configuration added. Added sticker configuration so much. The model has also been improved and optimized. Rear harrow arms now move independently of the drill. Hydraulic hose has been added and added some new parts. So you got all kinds of stuff here. Very cool. Very awesome, <laughs> big, major, major update to the Cavernland Accord DL Pack. Hey, we even got an update to the Vaccino Map. This is your last update for all platforms today. Vaccino Map update 1.1. Bug fixes, added lime mine, biogas, cell bells, animal trader, wiring, and sleep spot at the farmhouse. Those all seem like should be base game things, but hey, they're here now. Now we do have a new mod for PC and Mac players today. This bad boy right here is going to be the Bison BSZ110. A little rough around the edges, but it is what it is. This is gonna have tons and tons of configurations through here. Uh, if I'm counting correctly, there's like 12 different ones through here. So just kinda choose what you like. You've got old styles, new styles, whatever you like. Couple different wheels as well from Trailborg, Michelin, and Midas tires. And we got some working lights going very slow through here. So must be too many customizations, maybe something like that. Uh, we do have different beacon light options, different seat options. So that's kind of neat. And then we've got a couple different computers inside as well. This is going to have 150 horsepower, 240 liters of fuel, 15 miles per hour, and will hold 5,500 liters we've also got two different options for cutters on here first is the 4.2 meter at six miles per hour and then we have a five meter at four miles per hour so much larger but slower and you've got different color options for just one of these all right there you go and to close out today we've got two mod updates for pc and mac players first one is the hilkin bm 5000 version 1.001 Small bug fixes. And we have our last mod today. This is going to be the Cell Price Trigger version 1.0.1.1. Added a new highest great demand in a different column. So you've got that and you have your great demand over here. This is going to be done by left alt, left shift, and the letter O as in O is not in KFC. So there you go. There, this is a really cool mod. If you guys haven't seen this yet, Definitely check it out if you guys are on PC and Mac. It will help you out a ton. Oh yeah, I love it. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's new mods. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We got a surprise for you coming up here in the next few days on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned. Also, on Friday, I'm going to be announcing how to enter the giveaways for Farm Sim 22 and DLCs and an Xbox. That's right, we're giving away an Xbox. At least one, hopefully. Hopefully we give away about three or four of them. So stay tuned. Always it. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you later. Peace.